So it is Saturday, the week after Mother's Day. So um, I haven't been able to film anything this week because I had no memory left on my phone because I film everything on my smartphone. So I had to wait for a new um, SD card to come. So I finally have a big one. I bought a big one. Um, so I'm in the greenhouse today. It is Saturday. Um, last weekend was crazy with Mother's Day bouquets. It was lovely. Um, so I... I'm really ready for the season now so I've this week I've been going full throttle on the seed sowing um so I've got quite a lot going as you can see quite a lot I've got some at the back there so I haven't took the lids off today mainly because it's turned today it's a bit chilly I'm still in my coat um so it's a bit annoying really because it's been so lovely and sunny and everything has just been germinating brilliantly so I've got some, everything's been going. There's some scabious down here, more scabious in here. Um, I've got some Achillea, oh, Achillea in there. Um, so a little daily I got from my mum, just to see if I can get that to do anything. What else have we got here? Ah, oh, snapdragons, look at those little things. Loads and loads of little snapdragons. So pentamens are about, they're not done anything yet. But yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep going what's in here these are carnations and you can't see it well you might be able to I've got some tiny tiny little verbena here it's verbena bonensis which is the big tall big tall purple ones um they've got like weird square stems which are really sharp so be careful my daughter cut her arm on one last year um but yeah we i think they're really pretty i love them in a bouquet um what else have we got here in here we have got oh i've got some asters these ones at the end here are asters they just come in i've got some more the slightly emptier ones that's the small snapdragons and that's my status at the back which is romping on so i think that's almost ready to go into the next size soil block might actually do that tomorrow get them out cosmos so i literally only put this cosmos in on the 11th and we're on the 20th today so they didn't take long to come up they've been up for a couple of days some of those um and then i've got some calendula some pieces and i've started doing my dahlias so i've started putting my dahlias in i've got some there and i've got uh, if i can open it some in there so i've got quite a few i've actually got four in there these are four that i've chosen that i want to take cuttings from so that's why they're in there. I actually dug this little guy, this one up. <laughs> the size of this one. This is from my garden. And it's actually, it's a miniature ball, miniature pom-pom. I'm not really sure on the classifications. Um, but it's a tiny little snowflake one. My daughter loves the little white snowflakes. There is a massive bumblebee in here. Where is he? He's it's huge. He just came in. He, he followed you in. I don't know if you can see him. There, well, there he is. Huge. Oh, where? Yeah. There he goes. He's going out now. Bumblebee was massive, <laughs> wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> we had to like we were flapping around with a bit of cardboard trying to get him out, and he kept coming back at us. Anyway, he's out. So, what else was I going to show you? Okay, so outside, let's have a look outside. Um, got some hydrangeas that I've taken from cuttings here. Quite a few of those actually. Oh, some delphiniums which are looking lovely. Um, this is a load of stuff that I dug out of the allotment, so they are heleniums. Mm. Yes, I think they're all heleniums in there. Um, I got some aquilegia, they need potting on actually. Um, that's a geranium. These are my snaps, so I've got apple blossom and bizarre hybrids here. Oh, actually, let me see, show you what I've done with these. You need to pinch the top off, so once they've got like two sets of leaves, you pinch the top, which then makes them branch. Um, and then you get more flowers. But what I've done is, I have put the tops. I literally just shove them into some compost, the tops, um, and they've all taken pretty much. So now I, I've got twice as many because I took, I pinched all the tops off those ones and then plonked them all into little pots. So I've got some, oh, these are the apple blossom. Um, so I've got twice as many. Um, not every single one, pretty much every single one came. I'm missing maybe four or five. 
so that's a really good way of propagating um which i didn't know about actually i saw it someone else do it on instagram um but they'd done it in a hydroponics i haven't got hydroponics so i just got some soil i shoved them in thought well we'll see what happens i didn't even take much care over it actually i just kind of pinched them off with my fingers and shoved it in the fit in the compost and it worked and um they're really doing really well so um that's something to ref to remember i like that um what else have we got here i've got my sweet peas these sweet peas they're really hit and miss at the moment i'm not really sure why um some have come some haven't so i've put them outside for a bit the ones in the allotment i've left outside and they seem to be doing better so i'm gonna do that and i've got some roses which i picked up the other day in fact look at this for a bargain four pounds brilliant both of them i think both four pounds yeah both of them that back one's a climbing rose which is going to go this this is the support that i've got i actually bought it in the sale last year so i've had it well see the packaging's a bit damaged here but all the pieces are in there because i've had it the other way up um so i'm going to be putting this up the next couple of days i'll video that because that's gonna be fun because i put up one before and it just kept falling on me <laughs> they're a bit of a nightmare to put out they're quite flimsy but once they're in they're not too bad but you do need to tie them to something because they're not very good at supporting themselves so i've got that and another thing i wanted to show you my mum gave me a dahlia in this pot here and it was complete she said if you can get out of the pot you can have it it was so rammed in there massive great thing but i've managed to split it look at this that were, all that was in that pot there's eight tubers here so i've managed to split it into eight separate tubers so i don't I've never split a tuber before, but these literally split themselves. As I pulled it out, they just started coming. They just started to come. So, I mean, look at the size of that thing. They've all got a neck. Um, there's some smaller ones. Look, this one here, look. I mean, it's they've all got a neck. Look, that's even got a... Can you see? It's even got a little sprout coming. So, I'm not entirely sure what colour they are. She said they're purple. So, I'm going to plant all those. So that's just, I've got eight more dahlias on top of the ones I've already got, which is quite a lot. So that was exciting. How pretty does this look with, the, with all of these primroses? My daughter just keeps coming down and making little bouquets, but they're just so beautiful. So beautiful. So that's it for today. I'm going to do an allotment tour. For my next video so i'm going to go over to the allotment and do that but i thought i'd do a quick update for you because um obviously i haven't posted a video for a while um but yeah that's it thank you for watching